Yo, what is good, Lock and Lump Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger. Listen, I know it's 2K20 and I'm riding a skateboard. Like, you know, the skateboard is cool. Like, it wasn't 2K16, which it's not. But, you can roast me if you want. But who else do you know that rides a skateboard in the neighborhood? That's what I thought. Don't be a trend. Do your own thing. Alright, that was a little cringe. I might have to edit that out. But listen! I'm about to show y'all how to speed boost. This is more of an updated version of how to speed boost. I'm going to show you more ways. Because I actually did a speed boosting video. And it did really well. In fact, it's still doing well. And I never had a 100k video before. And it'd be pretty cool to have a 100k view video on the channel. So make sure you check out that video. I'm going to leave on the end screen. Make sure you peep it because... I cover some things that are going to be very useful to you and it's helped thousands of people out. So take the things you're going to learn from this video and then take things that you will learn from that video. You are going to be unstoppable. I promise you. Now we're about to get right into it, but I need a favor. First of all, if you haven't already, like the video for your boy. 100 likes is the goal. And Hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications if you're new. We're trying to hit 6K by 2K21. Next gen 2K21, not current gen 2K21. But if we can hit 6K by current gen 2K21, that would be amazing as well. Now without further ado, let's learn how to speed boost. Okay, first things first. Don't be a beta. Alright, I'm kidding. But I'm going to show you the timing of how to speed boost because that's something I could have done a little bit better last time. Don't get me wrong, I still explained it pretty well for the most part, but a lot of people were asking questions about the timing. And also, I'm going to show you some speed boosting combos that you can do. Very basic. And it is unguardable, almost. So, another thing... Allen Iverson is the size up I use. You can also use Steph Curry, Kobe Bryant, Pro 2, whatever you want to use. But I use Iverson. Now, this ain't a momentum cross video, but I mainly use Iverson for this quick momentum. If you're not much of a momentum guy, then you don't really need it. But I also like the between the legs that I gives you. Now, you should know how to go between the legs at this point. You know, balls in your left hand, down right diagonal, balls in your right hand, down left diagonal on the right stick. Now, honestly, you can speed boost out of that. So, the timing, you gotta be really precise if you're just gonna do it out of one move. Now, in order to speed boost, in the very beginning of the game, you need at least 86 ball control. Speed and acceleration, I'm not really sure. I know you need it in the 90s somewhere. Now, if you have like an 80, 81, 82, 83, you know, something like that in ball control, then you need to get a little bit of your takeover bar filled. But, for the timing, let's say you're going between the legs. So when you go between the legs, you gotta, you know, take like a half second pause and you start to move. Like when you're ready to move, move your player direction you wanna go and then hold RT immediately. Like, it's pretty tough to explain. And honestly, I don't really like doing it off of one move. I mean, you can. But I like to do combos. Like another thing is doing combos. Now you saw in the clips where I was dunking on that center, I was just going left to right speed boosting. So you see the more dribble moves you do, sorry if I'm stuttering, but building speed is important. Like the more moves you do, the more likely you are to get a speed boost. Because you're quote unquote building speed. You know what I mean? So, let me show you how to do that move real quick. So, you know how to do a hesitation, right? So, you run to the side, and you can either flick up on the right stick, and you can do that either direction. Or, this is how I like to do it. I run to the side right, I flick the ball, not the ball, flick the stick right. If I run to the left, flick the right stick left. I think it's a little faster like that, both the hesitation and the shooting out of it. But, we're not here to talk about shooting. So, you run to the side, do a hesitation, and you let go of RT, immediately go between the legs, and speed boost, and just do that back and forth. So let me show you what it looks like. One more time. 
You can do the behind the back too, doesn't really matter. You can hear my stick, it's a pretty quick motion, but yeah, you can just do that back and forth, back and forth. I'm obviously not perfect at it, but if you practice, man, just that alone, like you can have your defender on skates, you'd be surprised how many people can't defend left, right. Now, let's say you get that left, right down. Another thing you can do, you can honestly do the hesitation the same way the whole time, just keep speed boosting. Watch this. That's nice, right? For one, that can get you wide open for three. Let's say they're sitting on the left, right? Like, let's say you've been doing this. Let's say I speed boost it there and your defender's on the right. So, you know, he's waiting for you to come back. So, you're there and then bam, wide open shot. You'd be surprised at how much I get you wide open for three. Or he can do the opposite. He can play super high. Let's do this again. He's playing up. Oh, blow by. See ya. Easy dunk. Or if, you know, the off ball helps, you just share a teammate in the corner for an easy three. I mean, honestly, those two, for real, for real, is all you need to know. But I'll show you more anyway. So let me shoot the ball real quick just so I can get the ball back. Because this is something that some people want to know. So, yes, you can speed boost out the triple threat. See, I'm just flicking the stick right. Get my legs like that. And if you flick the right stick left, it will give you this animation. So, you know, you can just spam whatever. Yeah, nice little speed boost, right? Let me shoot the ball again. So. Most people are going to play that. That jab step I just did, most people like to go baseline. So, you can now jab them up a little bit. It's going to stay on your side. So, you do this one, go to the middle, and you can just hold right stick and just go. You get a nice little speed boost. Even if it's not the greatest, he's playing you so tight, you're just going to get around him and you're going to have an easy dunk or layup. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to give away one of my secrets. Not very really much of a secret, but this is a basic combo you can do. So, when I get the ball, whatever side he's giving me, whether it's right or left, I'll go right, and I'll do a hesitation speed boost behind the back. And you can speed boost that. You saw I was about to get a speed boost, but I stopped myself. So, you can do it left too. As he between the legs, behind the back. It's pretty quick, you hear it. I mean, I told you how to go between the legs. Now, in order to go behind the back, saying up, without holding RT, you just... Put down the right stick. You know, I should break down the full control. So, hold RT, has he. You know, you can do a double behind the back too, but that's not what I meant to do. You can do the has he and let go of RT and do the between the legs and then the behind the back. Simple as that. So, let me show you the full motion once again. And, you know, you can go speed boost. I can get a good speed boost there. But if he's playing you tight, you're gonna get open. So let me show you something else you can do. Doesn't have to be just that. And then you can throw another behind the back, and you'll get the speed boost. The only reason I can get the speed boost is because I stop myself in the middle of the combo. I'm just slowing it down so you understand. But let me get you full motion. You like that? <laughs> All right. So very easy combo. You can kill for three, you can kill for a dunk, and the main thing is misdirection. He's not going to know where you're going. And then, your speed boost, you're going to be so quick off of that speed boost. He's not going to be able to keep up, you know? I mean, his best hope is that he plays you tight and he keeps reaching and cancels your dribble animations. At that point, you just throw the speed boost out the window. You just, you just run straight to that bucket, man. If he calls you a rim runner, guess what? It's on him because he's pressing. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Just practice those comments. The main thing I want you to know is this. Practice this. Because this is super easy. Those, look, I'm speed boosting just about every time. Obviously, you got to get the correct amount of steps down. Basically, two steps. and then, Or even one, honestly. Yeah, one's probably better. 
So get that down. You will be killing the fenders, bro. All right. So there's the RSB boosting video on the end screen and a couple other videos in that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if this helped you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, man. I check all my comments. I will answer every question. Even the other speed boosting video, that's been out since April. People still ask questions, and I still answer their questions. So feel free to ask. I mean, it could be 2K22 at this point. You know, two years from now, 2K22. Oh, actually, that will be next year. I'm stupid. But 2K22, right? You could be commenting on this. You might have 2K20 for whatever reason. I will answer your questions, all right? So make sure you leave a question down below if you have one. But check out that other speed boosting video. Check out one of the other two videos. Hit that subscribe button if this video helped. I will see you there or the next one. But I'm out. Peace.